Hey friends, Pastor Kevin here. Thanks for joining us for Pastor Kevin and Friends. It is so good that you can join us. Today is a very important day. It's Father's Day. I love Father's Day. And uh, I'm a dad. I've got a brother that's a dad. And my brother and I have the same dad. He's a great guy. Love him. Hey, uh, I want to talk to you about a very important word. Do you see the word? Honor. Kind of a hard word to say because the H doesn't make the right sound. But honor. Well, the Bible tells us in Ephesians 6, verse 1, honor your father and mother. And it will go well with you and you will live a long life. That's a, that's a commandment that has a promise with it. But boy, some of us might get really, really old if we learn to honor our father and mother. Well, the problem is there's a lot of people that don't know how to honor their father and mother. They can be disrespectful and break the honor. They can talk back to their parents and break the honor. They can, whoops, they can go against what their parents tell them to do, but really the way to honor your parents is to obey. And obedience is doing what we're told, when we're told, with the right heart attitude. And when we do, Jesus promises that great things will happen. You see, it's important that we honor our father and mother. Hmm. Oh, you know why? Because many of them have been donors. Yes, they donate their time. They donate their resources, not just to us, but to other people as well. So it's very important that we learn to honor our father and mother. Now, it doesn't matter if our father is rich or if he is poor. But the greatest thing that any dad can do, any mom can do, is to begin to show us something. A door. No, not show us a door to kick us out of the house, but a door that is very important because Jesus is a door. Jesus says in uh, in in the Bible, it says in uh, that in John 14 that Jesus says, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me." And so I hope that somebody in your life, hopefully me or your dad your mom has shown you the door to Jesus because it's the greatest door that you could ever pass through because Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and he loves you with an everlasting life. But not only that is Jesus was a donor. Jesus gave his own life that you and I could come to know him as Savior and as friend. He gave his life on the cross. He left heaven so he could become poor so that you and I could know him. He wants to be your forever friend. Now, this is Pastor Kevin for Pastor Kevin and Friends, and I can't wait to see you again. Uh, we've got something special planned for Wednesday. Yes, holy cow. Yes, Platy, they get to be there too. So we can't wait to see you. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Love you guys. Bye-bye.